What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we're playing possibly one of the best 3D Sonic games ever in preparation for Sonic Forces. I'm so excited to play this game. Please, let's get into this. As you can see, I have very little experience according to these files. I actually have a ton because I played it all the time in my childhood. I just only recently played it on this thing, which I'm playing on the Steam version, hence why it looks so crystal clear, I guess? I don't know. We're diving... That's the A button, or the B button even. I'm playing with a Steam controller as well because that's the only thing that's going to work with this game apparently on Steam, so it's very odd. The buttons are also slightly delayed, so it's a bit of an issue, but oh well, hopefully it won't make much of an issue. Whatever. Let's go into the game. I'll do more of my rambling talking when we're actually playing, huh? Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? Didn't copy Hedgehog that. Over. Gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What in the Come world? Here. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! Low-budget flights, no food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. So I figured with Sonic Forces coming together, giving us a little bit of classic, mostly modern, and pretty much a combination of all the best 3D Sonic games, I thought I'd play the best 2D Sonic game, according to the fans, and the best 3D one. We're playing Sonic Adventure 2, I can't press the A button on a ramp, alongside Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic 2 and Sonic Adventure 2. What a twist. So, let's get started. I'm gonna start off actually by talking about my history with this game. This game is probably the most defining aspect of my childhood. It was introduced to me by my childhood gamer friend back when I lived in London at the age of like six. This game came out in 2001, so I would have been five when it came out. That's pretty intense. This game is 16 years old, by the way. Uh, also, as a little uh, detour, because I've just been reminded of it, we're playing Sonic Adventure 2 on the Steam, which, on the stream, no, on Steam, yeah. Um, so it's not Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, meaning it's, I think, a port of the Dreamcast version rather than like the GameCube version that you might have played, or the Xbox version, I don't know. So, there's at least what the dividing moment for me was, is the sound of the spin dash is the classic Sonic Adventure 1 sound rather than a new one that they added for the battle version, I think. It also means we might have less glitches. There's very clearly a difference in quality depending on what port you're playing, though I think this has a good chunk of glitches anyway, especially in the cutscenes, which the Dreamcast version doesn't have, but this one does, despite having more Dreamcast aspects. Anyway, yes, this game is my childhood. I played it all the time as a kid. I never completed it because I was not that great at games, but I did do the story at least, and I was very obsessed with the game, especially the Chow Garden that we may be seeing later in the series. Now, also, there's a secret guy here. I always remember he's there. I missed him. Go me. Um, I'm... Nope. Going to take this. Thank you, Omo Chan. Let me move on, please. Ugh. If I seem a little janky in how I'm playing the game, it's because literally the controls are delayed. Mostly the B button. It takes a while for me to actually spin dash when I want to spin dash. So that's a bit of an issue, but oh well. Also, this is a fun little scripted content uh, moment that I like to just. Oh, I was gonna break it, but I meant spent too long talking that I didn't actually get to do it right. Oh well. Now there are chow containers hidden around the stage, and if you find multiple, the first one will always give you the key, the second one will give you a whole bunch of animals, which will be very helpful in the chow garden. I'll be talking more about that in detail later on though. Um, I can't go dashing through those, thank you. Ugh. As you can tell, I definitely know my way around this game, but I'm not a professional pro. I can't speedrun the game, and I also don't actually remember where all the optional upgrades are. In fact, I'm not sure if I ever got them as a kid. So we're probably not going to get all the upgrades in the game. This is not a 100% run. This is mostly going to be a pretty casual playing of the story, mostly because I want to show that off and Sonic Forces isn't going to be out for like two months. Like, I don't have that much time to play the game, so that's how we're going to do things. But, if this series is really popular and you want to see more of it and I can actually go on with the underpass, then 
I may very well continue doing stuff for this game on stream. For example, there's a whole bunch of alternative missions that every single level gets. Oh wow, I have to do damage. That never happens. That's because of the controller, I swear. It's not quite reacting to me as I want it to. You can see that, like my jankiness of turning to the sides. But no, there's a whole bunch of alternative missions beyond get to the end of the goal that I'm. you may want to see me do in the live stream. Maybe raising more chow in the live stream. There's Big the Cat, only appearing in the Dreamcast version or the early versions. I do not want to lose all my 250 rings, thank you. I like to think I'm pretty accomplished right now. Good. That's how I want to go. Didn't do it in under three minutes, but that's pretty good. Yes! And generally, yeah, if you want to see more of this, let me know, watch the videos, and we may make this more of a common thing in the future with live streams. For now, then, let's continue with the story. And get ourselves a nice score? B. Too easy. Piece of cake. Not bad. Should have defeated more enemies if I wanted a better score. And no, we're not getting all 180. Maybe in a stream. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it Fire on! Fire Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. Alright, welcome to the Bigfoot boss fight. First of all, you'll notice in the background there's some Easter eggs. You've got Chaos in the background and the Planet of the... Does it Planet of the Apes? I think players, so it should be Planet of the Chow, but oh well. To defeat Bigfoot, all you need to do is hit him in the cockpit three times. You've got uh, boxes to help you get there. That's about it. Oh yeah, Planet of the Chow. You can do it while he's flying, though apparently I took damage. You can also do it when he lands in a moment. Is that a Final Fantasy reference behind us? Looks like that might be. Yeah. That might be a Steam exclusive thing. I could be wrong. Huh. Cool. We've got Chow, Ke uh, Chow Cola. Fantasy something rubber, spelt with PH. Lovely. Now, the circle round you see here is all you can actually run in. The crates over in the distance you can't actually access, but that's not a giant problem. I quite like having this circular thing, and it's kind of nostalgic to have this invisible wall. Bad as it probably not, like, functional functionally is, but oh well. I somehow missed. There we go. Oh, uh, thank you. Actually, we don't have hit him three times. We don't have hit him four, maybe. Oh, well. Made a review about this game. Hasn't come out yet, but, uh, better change that in the script. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll just five. I'll just put a text right over it. You don't need to hear about that back behind the scenes thing. Anyway, a cool little trick that I don't think is very helpful is if you jump while somersaulting, which Sonic can do, by the way, he does a cool little flippy thing. Ready to show off, I guess. Whoops. Okay, that's just bad luck. There we go. Bigfoot. Bigfoot to headquarters. Over. The enemy and back. I wouldn't recommend backup. I could probably just run away from it, but you, know, you can try. Now I do actually have a. I just realised an embarrassing story about this guy. So I loved this game, this game as a kid. I had two childhood friends that would play it along with me a lot as a kid. And one time we decided to roleplay this boss fight in the school playgrounds. I played as Bigfoot. I pretended to run around as if I was flying with a gun in between my legs, shooting at the other two. I got some weird looks that day. I didn't understand. Hey guy, take care. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! What? There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is it? Oh, stay away from the wall. Keep your hands up. Not again. Just let it go. You just don't know where to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. 
You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? what was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Alright, time for a Knuckles level. Find three pieces of the Master Emerald. Rather than getting to the goal, we need to find pieces in a closed off area. The Chaos Emeralds are randomly generated, he's holding a box. We got hints from these computer monitors, but otherwise we just gotta glide and fly, fly, glide, climb and find our way around it. Um, there's two levels to this place, there's the interior and the exterior, and unfortunately the radar will only indicate the first Chaos Emeralds in the region, but that's fine because this area is pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long. I think that's it over there. Yes, it is. Cool. At this point, it's just literally a matter of explore the area, and, and since I kind of know this area anyway, I don't memorize where all the Chaos Emeralds are because it's also kind of boring in that way. But this shouldn't take me too long because I know how to maneuver the place. Uh, thank you for the secret guy. Not that I'm going to grab you. Lovely. I will take that Chow key. Anything else? Yes, right here. Oops, stop, there we go. Give me these rings when the where the wind blows. Alright, that means it's in the air. It's in one of the boxes. If I can just glide into it. Where'd it go? There it is. No? Not quite. That one. Oh really? No? Maybe it's below there. Yeah, gotta do one of these boxes. You can break them by gliding through them. I'm pretty sure that's probably where it is. Oh, I can do that. Oh, cool. I wasn't sure if I could. I thought it was an upgrade. You can dive, sort of dive dig while falling. That's helpful. Cool. Oh, what is that? No? Hmm. Oh, I had it. I had it. What? Eh? You? What? Oh, wait. I'm guessing, yeah. It was glowing here, so it's definitely underneath. It's moving, in, but there. Gotcha. Where's the hole? There it is. Right. Get me up on this shelf. One of these. It is just one of these. What's also interesting with the Knuckles levels is actually the music. It's all got lyrics and it's actually from Knuckles' perspective talking about things. Uh, one, of the, one of the lines in this particularly interesting is, uh, Rouge, she's sexy and smooth. Legitimately, that's a lyric, so... I mean, I guess it's just sort of indicating that there's a romance between them, ironically enough, but who knows. just in the wind? Like literally in it? Am I just missing it? Yep, there it is. I just saw it. It's just going around the bottom. I've never actually seen that before. You can see it? It's just coming towards us. Oh, I can't get it though. <coughs> this is probably the hardest time I've had with the emeralds. Because I've never seen this one in all the times I've played it. There we go. I found him. Not too bad. There's 
no mistake about it. This must be the island. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic would destroy the military building or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. What? Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eggman, too. What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! Alright, this will be our last little moment of this episode. We are to fight against Dr. Eggman. Do you understand what he's saying? Me neither, and not just I'm talking over him. It's just literally too quiet and he mumbles a lot. Anyway, this is our first ever rival battle. All you do is fight the guy with the exact same control scheme as you. Eggman has the same mech legs, or the wrong trousers as I like to call them, as you do. So just hit him three times, possibly four, which is four actually considering how little help he has, and then you'll be done. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry, I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay. And we'll go and take on Prison Lane, our first proper Tails level. In a moment, I can't pause. There it is. Oh, that was really late. Okay, I'm gonna end it off here. Next time we'll go and take on Prison Lane and probably a whole bunch more levels with Sonic and Knuckles. For now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.